little review tonight and this is the Benzac uh, Western Bomber Jacket, the BBJ02. Um, and I was looking around the internet trying to find a jacket that would take me through the spring to autumn months, um, something a bit lighter than I already had in my collection. Um, and I was looking around Benzac's website and you'll know from past videos I'm quite a fan of Benzac, really like their products, really good cuts and great materials. Um, the B01 15 ounce denim jeans I've got, one of my favourite jeans, a cut is just, just right for me, it's really really good. So looking around the website and I found this jacket and it was a couple, it presented a couple of firsts for me. Um, it was a style that I hadn't really had before, I've never had that sort of bomber jacket Harrington style. And also it was in a Japanese 13 and a half ounce whipcord, uh, which is a cop cotton fabric and I hadn't really had um, anything in that before. So really, really interested to try out a couple of things, thought it would make for a good review and uh, judging by the measurements, um, I thought it was going to be a really good fit and it was going to tick the boxes for me. So in terms of those firsts, that's a bomber jacket, um, Harrington style. Um, this is a modern interpretation. They're describing it as a sort of hybrid between the US bomber jacket and the UK um, Harrington style jacket. Now, the Harrington style jacket's been around for absolutely ever. It seems to sort of pop up in pop popular culture time and time again. Um, but just doing a little bit of research, it seems to go back to about 1930. Um, bit, of a, bit of a split between um, who was the originator of that style of jacket. It was either Barracuda or the Grenfell um, brand. I think they were called something else back then, but one of those big British brands. Um, but it's sort of been around in popular culture, Ivy League, Mods, Britpop, Elvis Presley, and it looks like it finally got its Harrington name um, in, in films in the 1960s. So a style which has always been around, but not something I've, I've previously had. I normally like to have something a little bit longer in body, um, but having tried this on, and for the summer months, I think it's absolutely going to be perfect. The other first on this was this whipcord whip cord material. Now, actually, having had this in hand now, it is very, very reminiscent of the fabric that I found in my Buzz Rickson's N1 deck jacket. Uh, that was described as jungle cloth. Um, but both fabrics seem to have that really sort of tight weave. They're, they're simple cotton fabrics, um, but with that really, really tight weave, uh, it does bring about, uh, obviously, durability, um, but also um, windproofness. And from experience, uh, it is just simply so dense, it's actually got a good degree of water resistance. So a really nice fabric and quite forgiving. So that was a nice addition to the jacket. Um, we'll get into the details in a minute, but before we do, I'll just mention fit. So I am just under 12 stone, about 5'10", 5'11". And I've gone for a medium. I've found the sizing in Benzac pretty consistent. Um, all my tops from Benzac have been medium and they've always been a good fit. Um, there is enough space in this jacket to allow for a little bit of light layering. So obviously, as I say, this is going to be a, a sort of a warmer month jacket for me. Um, but obviously a t-shirt or a light flannel shirt underneath it is going to fit really quite nicely. Um, plenty of room to allow the you to move around in it and that's sort of part of their design the sort of hybrid bomber jacket design that they've come up with just to allow a little bit of space to articulate your arms and uh, in the medium just for measurements just for reference um, this came in as a chest at 22 inches the shoulder was 19 the sleeves to the cuff are 15 three quarter inches the length is 25 and the opening at the bottom is 20 inches. So let's get in for a look at the details. Just coming in to check out some details. Obviously the first thing you'll see is that beautiful uh, charcoal black whipcord. Really, really nice dense weave. Very nice fabric. 13 and a half ounces, so a good weight. Got a nice collar. And then you've got a, I guess you'd call it a yoke. Is that a yoke on the front of the jacket? Um, but you've got that nice arcing shape uh, reminiscent of the bull's head that they use as their logo, which we'll get onto in a moment. Nice, good quality talon zip in brass. On the inside, you've got that four ounce 
Portuguese flannel, nice soft feel to it. And on the left hand side, you've got a, a pocket there, good size pocket, enough to get your mobile phone into, uh, no fasteners, no button. You've got a nice uh, wind flap on the other side there. And of course the flannel lining. I like how the, the seam, the whip cloth seam just arcs up to the collar, a little bit around the back of your neck. The Benzac logo, medium, Japanese fabric for the whip cord. Moving down the jacket on the front there, you've got a couple of good size hand warmer pockets. That's uh, lined with a, a sort of indigo, uh, is it a chambray material? Fairly coarse, pretty strong feeling. Good size for your hands there. Tonal stitching all the way round. So it's tonal stitching throughout this bar tack at the bottom there. On the other side, you've got the, the bull's head logo. If you see those sort of arcing horns, that seems reminiscent of the detailing on the front of the coat. At the bottom, you've got a, what I think is a, a cotton ribbed elasticated base cuff. Don't know what that's called actually, but um, just to cinch it in, keep you warm, keep the wind out. Got the Talon branded zip. Moving down the sleeve, on the inside the sleeves are, are lined throughout with the, the flannel as well. It's so fully lined with the flannel. Ribbed cuff again. Really good length on these sleeves. I do find Benzac sort of get that, get that cut that the European market likes or Certainly, I like it. It uh, seems to fit me perfectly. Got the uh, yoke at the back. Again, slight sort of echo of that horn shape to my eye. And then a very plain, simple back down to the opening there. Well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. Um, I hope that was useful. If you've had a uh, jacket from Benzac of this style before, tell me what you thought, how you found it, how it broke in. Um, I think this is going to wear really, really nicely. Um, this whipcord fabric just feels pretty robust, and I think it's going to do really well. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Lots of denim, heritage footwear, bit of everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of thing. Bit of running, cycling. Um, do check it out, it might share some other common interests. Uh, if you thought this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.